for expert advisors, robots and trading systems that need to stay online 24-7, you need a dedicated computer that is always running. On this video I will be showing you how to get access to Google Cloud VPS for one year free access. For this to work you need a Gmail email and a credit card. Start by going to cloud.google.com and click on get started for free. Fill in the basic registration requirements on the organization needs, you can choose either small company or big company and accept the terms and conditions. You also need your mobile phone while registering, you will be sent a confirmation code. Step 3 of registration, you fill in your contact details and payment details. That means your visa credit card. Please note, debit cards are not accepted. Details blurred. Because of security reasons. Remember to allow online payments on your credit card, so that it can go through. Credit card is for address verification only. After filling all your correct details, click on, start my free trial. You will get a welcome message after a successful sign up. My free trial includes $300 to spend over the next 90 days. But usually it takes 12 months to be shut down by Google Cloud, according to what I observed. After a shutdown you can always create another account using your grandma's credit card. If you run out of the $300 credit, you will automatically be charged. So make sure to regularly check the remaining credit. You can enable or disable automatic billing on your account. The platform looks sophisticated to follow, but it's easy once you know what you're looking for. In our case we want a virtual machine or VPS, usually found on the Compute Engine section. Click on the Compute Engine and choose VM Instances. This will prompt you to enable the Compute Engine API, which usually takes 3 minutes to 5 minutes. Click on Create Instance to begin your VPS registration. On the right side it will display how much your VPS will be using monthly, depending on the VPS specifications. Choose the region where you want your VPS to be located. I advise you to choose a region which is nearest to your country because of the response rate or faster pin rate. It will be Hong Kong for me. On the zone you can choose any of the three zones. On the machine configuration choose the CPU you want to use. I recommend the first generation N1 CPU powered by Intel. On the machine type, choose the CPU cores and RAM memory. Most MetaTrader 4 and 5 expert advisors and trading systems can be supported by one core CPU with 1.7 GB memory. But there are some systems that consume more RAM memory due to the calculations involved, therefore require a larger memory. Memory is very expensive on Google Cloud, stick within your $300 budget. I will choose one core CPU with 3 GB RAM. That should support my trading robots on Deriv MetaTrader 5 platform. Make sure you tick this box to enable the display device. For the confidential VM service, it's not a must you tick the box unless you are willing to pay for extra data privacy. On the boot disk, this is where you choose your operating system. There is a wide variety to choose from, Debian, Linux to Windows. In our case we need the Windows VPS, so on the drop down menu choose the Windows server operating system. On the version, choose the Windows version you want. There is Windows 2004 to Windows 2019. I recommend using the Windows 2012 version because it's compatible with most Windows applications. On the boot disk type, choose the standard persistent disk. Any will work. Standard is the cheapest. For the size you can leave it at 50 GB or reduce by half to save some bucks. Click on select to save. My total monthly estimates is $70 at the moment. That's enough to buy me some time to run my robots for free. Everything is all set up now, you can leave other parts as they are. Like the identity and API access. Select allow default access. On the firewall, you can leave the box unticked, we don't require the HTTPS traffic. Click on create after you have finished the setup, your VPS will start to be configured, it might take at most 5 minutes to be set up. On the instance page, check on your notifications bell and read the instructions given. You might get an error saying Windows instance are not included with the free trial, to use them first enable billing on your account. Don't worry when you get this notification. 
For a virtual machine to be activated, you have to enable automatic billing on your Google Cloud account. Follow my steps to fix that error. Click here on View Billing Report. My Billing Account then click on Manage My Billing Account. Click again on My Billing Account to open the overview. Scroll to Free Trial Credit section and click on the Upgrade button. That means you have enabled automatic billing after your free trial credit runs out. After successfully activating, open the notifications again and retry to create the instance. This time the VPS will be prepared with no setbacks. Wait for it to finish creating. When it's complete, go back to the Compute Engine, click on VM Instances. Select your project and click on Continue. After a few seconds the VPS details will be available. Select RDP and click on Set Windows Password. The username will be the one displayed here. These details will be used to login into your VPS. Save them. Select RDP again and click on Download RDP file. This file will prompt the remote desktop connection on your computer. Double click on the downloaded file to connect to the IP address provided. Click on connect. Paste the Windows password that was provided. Accept the security certificate. It's safe, I mean it's Google. Click on yes to access the VPS. Successful access to Windows Server 2012. The server manager helps you to add roles and features. Before anything else disable the IE enhanced security configuration. Otherwise you won't be able to access the internet or download files. The disk space I requested for 50 GB. You can scale it down to save some bucks. You can install any applications you want. Apart from crypto mining applications, they will be flagged and your VPS will be closed down permanently. Copy and paste the setup files on the VPS server, install them normally. Do not upload any file that has a virus. Just upload verified programs and applications. Some programs may be affected by automatic Windows update. Always check regularly to see if there are any updates required. You can postpone restart to a less busy time. With Google Chrome browser you can access your favorite websites and web trading accounts. You can use it to access your auto trading accounts on binary bot and deriv -D bot platforms. Log in with your verified account credentials. You can also install your MetaTrader 5 platform for running expert advisors. Log in into your account and keep it running 24-7. Installation of Google Chrome and Deriv MT5 platform is complete. You can access them anywhere, using any computer or a smartphone. As long as you have the IP address and password. Like I will show later in this video. This VPS can support both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms running at the same time. You can also install different brokers platforms by creating a folder for each MT4 or MT5 terminal. Confirm with Task Manager how much the CPU memory percentage your programs are consuming, so that you don't overload the server. Google Cloud has the fastest internet connection compared to other servers. Testing with speed test, my server hit a download and upload speed of 101 Mbps. That's impressive. And the response time is very fast, approximately 20 ms. That's like 0.02 seconds connection time from your computer to the server. I guess that's the fastest connection speed in the world so far. This speed will help you in auto trading and fast order execution, because most expert advisors require high speed internet connection. That's almost everything you need to access a Google Cloud VPS on your computer. You can also access this VPS with your smartphone using the RD client app. All you need is your IP address, username, and password that you created. Follow my steps, and learn how to access the Google Cloud VPS with your smartphone. On your smartphone, open the Play Store app, and type RD Client, on the search area. Select the one made by Microsoft Corporation. Click on the Install button, and wait for it to download and install.
Installation done, click on open button and accept the terms and conditions to access the user interface. Settings options on the left side. On the right side, click on the plus sign and click on add PC. On PC detection, click on add manually. On the PC name, this is where you insert your host name or IP address. Click on the user account and insert the username and password and save. Remember all these details you got them from Google Cloud or from your server provider. Still the same process. On the general configurations, these are optional. You can leave this part as it is. No need to change anything. Click on save after you finish. Click on the desktop icon displayed with the IP address. Just like in the computer version, you will be asked to verify the security certificate. Tick the box on, never ask again for connections to this PC for faster access. Then, click on connect. Connecting, and voila, we are in. Google Cloud Remote Computer VPS, accessed with your smartphone. Login successful. The RD client app has very straightforward control panel. A zoom button, a keyboard, and you can switch between cursor and touch to control your programs. You use the cursor by double tapping on the function that you need. Scrolling and navigation made easy. You can install applications and monitor your trades on the move. It's not a must you carry your laptop with you. That's very convenient for every trader. Run binary bots, derivd bot, and other web applications, uninterrupted, with a strong internet connection. For at least 3 to 12 months, give or take. I hope I have covered everything you need to know about getting a Google Cloud VPS and accessing it with your computer or smartphone. Leave your question on the comment area and I will try my best and reply to you. Google Cloud is very expensive compared to other VPS services out there. Make sure to stop your service when your credit runs out, or else you will get a surprise billing on your credit card, courtesy of Google. Trust me, you don't want that. You can always create multiple accounts every time it expires. Hope Google isn't listening. Anyway, thank you Google. For the free credits. Find my other recommended cheap VPS that I use for as low as $5 per month. Access links below this video on the description part. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe while you are at it. Take care and happy holidays. Peace. Talk to you soon. <laughs> I got work to do.